All right, everyone, welcome back to the Intro 2004 Franchise Mode series. We have hit episode number 22 here today. Coming off last episode number 21, where we had that huge 7-3 win uh, against the Pittsburgh Penguins and a tough loss 3-2 against the Oilers. And in this episode, we're going to be facing off against the Buffalo Sabres, and then we're heading back home to take on the Toronto Maple Leafs in the first of a home-and-home -home series with them. So we had that frustrating loss against Edmonton. We came back and kind of just beat the crap out of Pittsburgh. Um, that was fun. It's been like almost a week since I recorded the last episodes. Usually I record Monday to Friday. I've been sick. I'm pretty sure it's not COVID. I'm um, just a regular cold. But uh, yeah, I haven't been able to record all week. So I'm looking forward to getting back in and actually uh, recording today. I don't think there's really any news uh, to go over. I think we'll just preview the teams. So Buffalo, the better of the two teams, of course. They're sitting seventh in the league, 21, 14, 2, and 7, 51 points. Uh, they're one of the higher scoring clubs in the league right now, but they've also given up a ton of goals against. Toronto, not far below them, uh, 23, 19, 1, and 1, 48 points. So they're only three below another team that scores a lot of goals. Of course, we've played Buffalo. It was in a couple episodes ago now, but Buffalo, we beat 2 nothing, And we haven't actually played the Leafs since the 1st of November. So it's been a really long time since we played the Leafs. Uh, it was a 3-1 loss pretty much in the beginning stages of the mode uh, for us. And it was a real bad time for us where we were uh, really struggling to get anything going. So but with that in mind, I don't think there's anything else. I think I might have changed some lines around. I think maybe Francis is back in the lineup now as I go into the wrong screen for that. Yeah, pretty much the only thing is that uh, Leclerc, or sorry, not Leclerc, Potvin is uh, fatigued right now. So LeClaire is getting the start against Buffalo, and then we're going to hopefully, fingers crossed, have Pot Van go against one of his former teams in the Toronto Maple Leafs for both games. But taking all that into account, guys, let's go ahead and get into the game against the Buffalo Sabres. All right, so we're here against Buffalo. And I mean, like, I gave them their alternate jerseys for this game. And, uh, man, I don't know a team that has, like, a better jersey set at this time. Than, than the Buffalo Sabres. The black home, the, the white away, and then these as an alternate are so good. <clears throat> oh, geez, Delmore right off the draw with a snipe past uh, LeClaire. Oh, look at that. First shots for both teams in the net. Gagne with 15 on the year. <laughs> that good defenseman, was that Kalinin? I don't know who 45 is on their team. It's a little back and forth already in this game. Ooh, nice stop by Biron. Ooh, nice stop. Nice hit by Cap. Ooh, off the post. Oh, good stop. Francis there hunting for the rebound. So the end of the first couple goals either way, both on the first shots of the game, too. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Delmore's was the first shot. But yeah, 1-1 one, one game heading into the second. Oh, Kachuk still looking for his first goal, I think. I'm not sure if Kachuk has scored yet. Maybe Kachuk scored in that Pittsburgh game and I'm misremembering it. <laughs> Oh, oh, Gagne on the doorstep there. Oh, Verbata. Almost had it there. Oh, a nice passing play. Great job by the forwards. Oh, man. So Recky makes it 2 1. We got the lead so far. I don't think uh, Buffalo's had much offense in this period at all. Oh, man. Two saves by Biron there. Had no idea Janssen was even coming off the bench for that one. There's Finneganov. A couple shots there on the Claire at the end. But, uh, yeah, they only managed, I think, it says they had five shots. I don't even remember, other than those last two. Uh, their shots, but a 2-1 lead heading into the third. We've been pretty much dominating this one. We just got to keep it up. 
Oh, nice poke check by Rubata. Oh, Kapanen. What a save by Buran. This game could for sure be like five or six one right now if it wasn't for Buran. Oh, Knudsen. Nice stop by Buran again. Ooh, big save by Leclerc. Uh oh. Play by Pronger. Oh, off the post. Oh, Cavanin, bucket off. Oh, the hero line's coming out. Gotta weather the storm here. Oh, man, great stops by Leclerc. Oh. There's Connolly. We got Tim Connolly at hair at one point. I only remember strictly bald Tim Connolly. So late tie, Connolly gets that. Well, I mean, we were just trying to weather the storm for like five, six straight minutes there. But uh, yeah. Oh, here comes Gagne. Oh, got pushed off. Oh, Kachuk off the post. Ronick. Dude, Biron's been so good for them. Crazy good so far. Oh, Biron almost gave away the game. So we'll head to overtime 2-2. Connolly with that late tying goal. Yeah, they really had they had a ton of shots in that period. I think they had 12 at least. They had shots 12 to 6, I think. But really, that was, those last few minutes, that, that hero line stuff is crazy good. It just makes it makes games thrilling. Oh, Kachuk off the post. Miro Shatan trying to get that goal. Oh. <laughs> oh, Pronger almost with the winner. Oh. Oh, man. Great defense by Buffalo in this period. Oh, great poke check from Janssen. Oh, off the post. Tarion. Oh, nice hit by Ragnarsson, too. The hero line got some rest. And now I think we're matched up. Oh, we're against Drury again. And I was going to say, hopefully the hero line for Buffalo isn't back out. But they are. Oh, my goodness. Good saves by Leclerc. There we go. Ronick, the captain. Would have taken the point out of this one, but uh, it's good to get the two. And uh, beat a team that's higher up in the standings than us right now. Andy Delmore. I've never realized Andy Delmore is apparently that good. He's a hero rating and everything in this game. Three stars, Ronick a goal, no assist, Gagne a goal and an assist, and then Pascal Leclerc, the first star, stops 32 of 34 for a 3-2 overtime victory against the Buffalo Sabres. All right, so we come off the 3-2 win. We're going to simulate. So we've now got the games against the Toronto Maple Leafs, so what I'm going to go do is throw Potvin back in the net. Potvin's actually still fatigued somehow. I don't know how. He's been off for like five, six days at this point. Uh, but we're going to play him anyways because I don't care. He's going to play against the Leafs. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, good thing to note is, like, these overalls are shooting right up uh, due to us being at home, which is awesome. Uh, it's just such a big help when we're at, we're at home. Podfin being an 83, Leclerc an 80. It's just, man, it's it's really good to see. And it means that we're, we're that much closer to getting to the point where we are uh, back up to full potential both at home and on the road. So there's nothing really much else to go over. I think what I'll do is I'll just jump in and take a look at the Leafs like players. Um, see where they are player stats wise. Uh, because we haven't played them in so long. I'm assuming like Sundin and McGillney are still crushing it. So taking a look at the Leafs here. 55 points for Matt Sundin. 27 goals. 28 assists. McGillney probably playing on his line. 32 assists. He's got 48 points. Um... A lot of guys have been injured, as you can see. Like, a lot of them haven't played the 45-ish games that um, the season's had so far. I mean, look at that. Robert Shvela. I love I love this era of Leafs names. Like, Aki Berg, Aaron Gavey, Nick Andropov. Come on, it's got to be hilarious ones down here. Right, look at Darcy Tucker, though. Three points 
in 45 games. Like, I wonder what he had in, like, real life in this season, because it has to be more than that. I mean, like, Domi had, like, that stat line, and he's at least got six assists. So Darcy Tucker would actually finish this season with 21 goals, 11 assists for 32 points. Sundin had 75 points as I smashed my hand off my desk. Um, not a huge, like, point total year for these guys, but, like, Neuendijk had 50. What did McGillney have? McGillney had 30. I'm assuming he didn't play all the games. It was 34 at this time. Uh, but McCabe even had, like, 53. But, like, Tucker to be that low is kind of crazy, but, like, I think Sundin and McGillney, they're going to smash those point totals they had in real life. Um, even Nolan and Roberts, like, these guys are, they're doing a whole lot better than, I should take a look at their goaltenders as well. So, of course, Bell for 17-14-1 and one on the year, 8-8-3. Eight, eight, I don't know what's wrong with the save percentages in this game because, like, I think Belfort probably had a way bigger or way better um, save percentages. I'll take a look here. Belfort had 34 wins in this season and had a 2-1-3 goals against. So his, his goals against is fine. It's probably, it's just his, for some reason in this game, no goaltender apparently aside from, like, Habby Bullen, Kolzig, and Potvin are simming well at all. If you take a look at like Habby Bullen here, a 183 goals against, which is crazy. Kolzig down here at a 196. But even Kolzig is a sub 900 save percentage goaltender. And Habby Bullen now is at 905. And just scrolling through here, we'll take a look. Potvin is, and Leclerc are literally the two best goaltenders pretty much in the game. And Potvin, as a starting goaltender, is the best by far. So it's a, it's a little bit of a broken system in Potvin as a 933. But the goaltending save percentage stuff in this game, I'm assuming just the shot totals are super low in the games. Like, whatever it's simming is probably having a really tough time um, having a bunch of shots. No idea why, but you'd love to see those goaltending numbers be more accurate to what, like, the league average was, which was about 9-12 or something. I did it in one of the previous episodes, but it was, yeah, it was around, like, a 9-12 save percentage league-wide. But with that in mind, guys, let's go ahead and get into the first game at home against the Leafs in this home-and-home -home set with Felix Potvin starting in net. All right, so the game against the Toronto Maple Leafs, of course, this is, you know, like looking at these jersey sets and all that, you got to love it. Ooh, off the post right away. Because uh, in 0304, this was one of the playoff matchups in the Eastern Conference, and I think Jeremy Roenick this year... Uh, broke some Leafs fans hearts game six I believe this was like oh man like I think the Leafs at this point are two years removed from going to the Eastern Conference final against the uh, Carolina Hurricanes and like basically like the first game I don't even remember how bad it was but like the Leafs were banged up they were a banged up squad and then after that Joseph leaves and they get uh, Ed Belfour Oh, it's a bad start right there. By the way, low key, Alexander McGillney is one of my favorite players of all time. I think he's the only reason why I liked the Leafs as a kid was was McGillney. I just love McGillney for some reason. Ooh, big stop by Potvin there. Leafs are certainly a good team and an offensive team at this time. Really, even their defense was pretty offensive at this stage of the game. Oh, good shot. Nice stop by Belfort. I think one thing I forgot to do was probably dress uh, Donald Brashear for this game so we could fight Domi. But I think we tried that in the, one, the, the first time we played the Leafs this year and it never ended up happening. Oh, that could have been a penalty shot. Brian Marchman in a Colorado sweater? Like, we just used the Colorado Avalanche in 2003. And I don't recall Brian Marchman being around at all. Unless he was acquired at, like, the deadline in, in 2003. I'll have to look that up. Oh, Williams got killed on that hip check. Oh, trying the one-timer with Ronick. Ooh. Also, I think one thing about that Buffalo game was there was no penalties, which is, uh... One of the first times that's ever that's ever happened. Oh, went to the wrong guy there. Should have went to Gagne. 
Oh. Oh. Oh, yes. That's what you want going into the next period. Belfort with a terrible play there. And Kim Janssen getting his second of the year. Late period goals. Killers. Oh, and a hooking call for Travis Green, the coach of the Vancouver Canucks, going to the box right at the end of the period. So we're going to end up with a power play starting this period. Oh, my God. How many times? Why have you been so penalized, guys? This game's ridiculous. I've had like 30 power plays this entire thing, and then every other team's been like shorthanded like 200 times. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Oh my god. Berg just launching Williams. He's gotten hit twice in this game like that. Oh, off the post. Newt's in. Nice. 2-1 lead, man. Back and forth period for sure. <laughs> oh, come on. Was it dumped down the ice? How's it considered a pass? It has no sense. Oh, Darcy Tucker. What, three points on the season in 45 games, and now he's scoring on himself. That's, uh, that's brutal. <laughs> oh, and now another penalty. Dude, the Leafs take penalties in droves in this game. And it's green again. Oh, nice stop by Belfour. Oh, Ragnarsson, two chances. Oh, off the post. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> two line pass. Oh, I don't know about that one. That rule sucks, and I'm so glad, I think, in literally 06, I don't have to play with it anymore. It's going to be so much nicer. But anyways, that's the end of the second. Uh, the Tucker own goal, then we had... Um, I don't even know who had the second goal. I can't even remember. But anyways, um, yeah, the Tucker own goal has pretty much been the dagger so far, but lots of chances from the Leafs. They're a pretty good team. Take a little too many penalties, though. Oh, Gagne. Oh, Green. Podvan sold out a little bit for that one. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, we're not done here yet. <laughs> 3.35 left. The hero line's going to be out constantly for the Leafs, too, which is going to be tough to deal with. Ooh, <laughs> Kachuk getting hooked on the way in. Newton had the other goal. That's who had it. There we go. Green took a terrible route to that puck. I'm not sure if that's Kachuk's first goal as a flyer or not, but uh, that's probably not how you want it anyways if you're struggling to get on the board. But that should be the dagger for this game. Nick Andropov, look at all the hooks. So that'll do it. A 4-2 victory against the Toronto Maple Leafs in the first half of a back-to-back. So the three stars, Ron Francis gets the, I, they gave Ron Francis, I know he has the game winner, but Christ, Ron Francis got the goal on the Darcy Tucker own goal, so I don't really agree with him getting the star for that one, I'll probably give it to Newtson instead, but McGillney, a goal and assist, and then Felix Potvan, the first star, 35 saves, stopped 35 of 37. So that'll do it for this episode, pretty much guys, I think I'm just going to go take a look at the standings before we leave. And uh, see where we're at now. Um, three wins in a row. Um, and, you know, five of our last six games have been wins. So that's really good for us as we continue to, you know, try to solidify where we are in the standings. Um, let's see where we are. We're 11th in the league, 22, 17, 5, and 2. We're three points ahead of the Leafs now, so we can actually uh, make that gap a little bit bigger by continuing to win here. 
Tampa Bay only has 83 goals against. That's crazy. We're sitting third in the East. We now have a four-point lead in the... But again, it's, we still have, they still have three games in, uh, in hand on us, but we do have a four-point lead on New Jersey, so we're kind of starting to stretch that gap between us and New Jersey for that third in what is potentially a losing playoff spot, which is crazy. There's so many good teams right now. Only one team out of the Atlantic division, our division, would actually make the playoffs at this stage, which is just unbelievable. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Before we go, um, our next episode is going to contain games, the second half of the back-to-back against the Leafs, and then a game against Montreal. We haven't played Montreal in a while, um, not since this 3-1 win. And then, of course, we jumped and played the uh, Columbus Blue Jackets in the next game. I think this would have been episode number 13 or so of the series. And then we made that trade for LeClaire. So we haven't played them in quite a while. So it'll be interesting to see where they're at. I think they're a little bit lower in the standings, but not too much lower. I think they're sitting eighth place um, in the Eastern Conference. Anyways, yes, guys, that's going to do it for episode number 22. If you've been, if you've gotten to this point, thank you so much for watching and uh, continuing to watch and support the channel and support the support the series as a whole there's lots and lots coming to the channel soon um i'm pretty sure by the time let's see what episode are we on 22 this is going to be almost to the end of october when this actually gets uploaded on youtube it is only the end of september now as i record this i know i'm right around the corner from be a pro stuff and nhl 21 i'm so so pumped up for it i can't wait so there'll be a I believe it, it's either going to be two Be A Pro episodes in a franchise mode episode coming out, um, or I'm not even sure what I want to do yet with it. Um, franchise mode would be a little bit less exciting to do a whole thing on, but I've been uh, really loving the format I've done here. So usually the games just take a little bit longer when you're doing them on the newer consoles. Anyways, guys, thank you again so much for supporting the channel. Uh, like the video here down below. Check out the most recent episode. Check out all the episodes. Subscribe to the channel here and uh, share it wherever. I'll see you guys on the next one.